Hello guys and girls, welcome to this video. Uh, so this is a part of the Jenkins series where we start from installing Jenkins with one click using Marketplace AMI, then we install different plugin, uh, then we create pipeline, we automate stuff, and a lot of other cool jazz. Um, so this is part two. Uh, so we have already done these first three things on part one. Uh, so if you haven't watched part one, I highly recommend you to go watch part one before you watch this part. Uh, so in this part, we are going to tackle how to run CloudFormation using Jenkins Pipeline. So let's dive a little deep on what is involved uh, in this. So running CloudFormation using Jenkins Pipeline, uh, it actually uses AWS CLI commands like the CLI CloudFormation commands. Um, so guess what you need to run AWS CLI commands? <laughs> you need to install AWS CLI. Uh, so there are two ways to doing that in high level. Uh, one is you can SSH into the Jenkins instance and uh, install AWS CLI, or you can use AWS SSM session manager to install without any keys. Uh, so for this video, I'm actually gonna show you a part of the SSM session manager. Uh, that's how I do it these days because it's uh, super clunky to keep track of all the keys and all that stuff. Then we are gonna go over Jenkins file very briefly and then I'm going to show you how to run the CFT using Jenkins pipeline. Sounds good? All right, let's get into it. So we are going to uh, install AWS CLI using uh, Systems Manager Session Manager uh, instead of using keys and SSHing into this. Uh, so I'm not gonna go too deep into this because else the video will become too long. Uh, but let me know if you want me to make a separate video on Systems Manager. Uh, so it's basically uh, a fully managed AWS service uh, that lets you manage your EC2 instances uh, through an interactive one-click browser-based shell. Um, so instead of using PuTTY in Windows or uh, in Mac terminal uh, and then pointing your keys and all that stuff, uh, you can just log into your EC2 instance uh, from this. So you are going to use this session manager feature under Remote Connect. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, you can just follow this quick setup and then it's just going to ask you, hey, do you want to include all the EC2 instances? You say yes, and then it changes some roles, installs some stuff, and then you are done. So we're going to click this Explorer Session Manager. Uh, so we have a Jenkins EC2 running. Uh, so we're going to come back and then click uh, Start Session. And then that should give us the Jenkins. And then we're going to click Start Session again. And that should open up the shell. Uh, so this is pretty much the shell. So here you can run any commands. Uh, so we are going to update the app get depending on the operating system that you are running. Uh, so we'll let it run. And then we are just going to run um, sudo apt get AWS CLI. Uh, if you are using a Red Hat or something, depending on IC2, of course, you change this sudo apt get to sudo yum or sudo pip. Uh, okay, so I'll let it install. Okay, so it's asking if we want to continue. Okay, all done. So I'm just going to run AWS configure to verify that AWS CLI is installed correctly. Um, okay, looks like uh, we are all set to move forward. Okay, so now uh, let's take a look at uh, what is Jenkins file. So this is the website from actual Jenkins. You can think of it as a file which defines the pipeline and the stages. Uh, so let's say in your regular DevOps pipeline, you have a build stage, test stage, and deploy stage. Uh, so that's how you define uh, stages. So this is Groovy syntax. Uh, so I promise you, when I show you the actual Jenkins file for the pipeline, it's going to make way more sense. So if we look at our Jenkins file, uh, so it has only one stage, right? And then it, that has only one step in that stage. Uh, we're basically running this AWS CloudFormation CLI command. Uh, so uh, think about this for a minute before we go into the command itself. So this is pretty powerful, right? Because uh, you can do so much using AWS CLI commands. Like everything is, uh, you can go spin up AC2, uh, create a SNS, SQS, Lambda, whatever you want. This Jenkins file pipeline is the recommended approach 
over CloudFormation uh, plugin. Uh, because if, as you guys watched in the part one, to work with the plugin, uh, you need to have a access key and secret access key, which can be compromised. However, with this approach, you don't need to use secret access key and access key. Uh, it's gonna use the instance role, which is more secure. Okay, so looking at the command, uh, pretty straightforward, it's running the AWS CloudFormation, uh, creating a stack. So it's giving a stack name and then the template body, it is picking up this file colon slash slash is basically, uh, hey, in the same folder, uh, in the same repository, uh, look for a file which is named simplest s3cft.json and then the region. So if we submit this, uh, it should create a one stage and then run this CLI command. Okay, so now we know about uh, Jenkins file. Uh, so let's take a look at the cloud formation that we're gonna run from the Jenkins file. Uh, we already know this cloud formation, simplest S3 CFT, can't get any simpler than that, just creating a um, S3 bucket. Okay, so this is the Jenkins file, we, we already know about this, and then it's referring the uh, file name, the JSON file name that we just saw. So there's a catch. Uh, there's always a catch, isn't it? Uh, so this, <laughs> CloudFormation creates stack. Uh, so it's gonna run in the EC2 where Jenkins is running. And uh, instead of using the access key and the secret key, uh, which was painful, now it's gonna use the EC2 role. So what that means is the EC2 role uh, should have the policy to uh, create CloudFormation stack and also create uh, S3 bucket, right? So let's do that. Uh, so this is our Jenkins EC2. And the IAM role it's using is uh, Amazon SSM role. So if I right click and open link in new tab, uh, so currently it only has SSM managed uh, policy. Uh, so if I submit Jenkins job, it's gonna run the command in EC2 and it's gonna be failed to create stack, failed to create S3. So let's attach couple policies. So I'm gonna do cloud formation. Okay, attach policy. And I'm also gonna do S3. Okay, so, um, so one advantage is with this role, um, the access key, secret key is automatically gonna be rotated. So you don't have to worry about uh, compromising it. Okay, so now we updated the instance role. We have the Jenkins file. Um, so, all right, so let's set up a Jenkins job. Okay, back to uh, Jenkins dashboard. Uh, click new item. Name it pipeline S3 CFT, okay? Click pipeline, click OK. Uh, so just click down. I'm gonna ignore the GitHub trigger for now. So this is where the Jenkins file stuff goes in. This is the pipeline. Uh, so you can just hard code it here, but it's uh, best practice is to actually get it from your Git. So anytime anything changes, uh, it, it you don't have to go come change the Jenkins job. So click get, uh, so this part is similar to before. Just gonna paste the repository URL, credentials, okay. So the script path is a Jenkins file, so that's the name of the, our file. But if you change or give a different name for the Jenkins file, you can just put it here. Uh, so click save. Okay, so uh, let's click build. Okay, so now you can see uh, it's it has like little uh, fancy uh, diagram. Uh, so it's like the checkout SCM and then submit stack. So submit stack is the name of the stage coming from Jenkins file. So let's click this and go to console. Okay, so it submitted uh, this stack and you can see that it's running the uh, AWS CLI command. Okay, so let's go to CloudFormation console. Okay, so it's super fast. So you can see it's S3 bucket 
already done. Click this. Okay, so it created this uh, S3 bucket for us. All right, so we did all the step. We installed AWS CLI using SSM Session Manager. Uh, we took a look at the Jenkins file. We enhanced the EC2 role to include CloudFormation and S3. And then finally we ran CloudFormation using Jenkins pipeline. All right, guys and girls, uh, that is the video. Uh, so for the next part of this Jenkins series, uh, we are going to look at how to pass parameters into CloudFormations from the Jenkins job. Uh, how do you automatically trigger the Jenkins job when someone uh, checks in a CloudFormation in the Git? If you are liking the content in my channel, uh, please feel free to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace.